<clears throat> what? No, oh, my. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Hi everybody, today is Sunday, June 13th, 2021, week number... 132. 132. It's been yeah. a crazy, crazy, crazy life. A couple weeks, yeah. <laughs> I never really see Stace. She gets up in the mornings, we get going in the morning, then she works usually, I don't know, 8 to 5, 8 to 6, comes home, eats... Then works seven or eight till midnight or eleven. So um, most days it's this little break between the jobs or five minutes in the morning. I see you ten minutes in the morning, maybe fifteen minutes between the jobs. And then when she gets done, she comes up and understandably she's tired and uh, she's pretty much asleep within twenty minutes, two seconds, half hour. I'm being really kind when I say 20 minutes to a half hour because that's when I'm telling her to get up and go to bed. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, hey, let's get into some weights. Last week I was, um, it's apparently not on the paper. So last week I was. 329.6. Uh, last, last week I was 329.6. Can you tell I'm a little tired and a little bit, yeah, out of it. Frazzled. And um, yesterday morning when we were supposed to do our video update, or day late, I was 3.30 even, so I was up 0.4. Um, I'm barely moving. I'm doing physical therapy, and it's killing me, and I'm in pain, and Stacey's been trying to help me a little bit, and uh, I just, I'm just not doing well. <laughs> his hips, his thighs. I'm doing pretty rough. My back is just shot. I'm not broken. So, a um, little bit of less activity, although I am doing physical therapy every day, and all this other stuff, but yeah. I'm hoping that the physical therapy will definitely take place and we do have an appointment to get a MRI done for Yeah, as soon as one we could get was next month. <laughs> so I have to wait till July 7th, I think. Yeah, it sounds yeah. about right. <clears throat> yeah, so about a month away. But that was the best we could get after calling and calling and calling around. So I'm going to go for an MRI and see a little bit more detail about what's going on with my back. I said I got all kinds of fun things going on pinched nerves and disc space that's narrowed and shrunk and bones that are destroyed and broken. <laughs> so it doesn't look real good on the x-rays apparently. So no wonder I keep falling. I've fallen three times in the last month. Yeah. Yep. And luckily nothing's broken. Uh, yeah, I hear you. I'm not on the wood. back of his yeah. head. <laughs> so where are you at, Stace? What's up? Oh, I am on the struggle bus. Struggle um, bus. I am. I was having issues. It's all that with, cheesecake um, factory that you eat. Ew, I don't like cheesecake. I don't even know. Is cheesecake keto? I don't even know. I, I don't know, but I don't I, like cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cheesecake. I'm not a sweetie person <laughs> like that. No, it's. Um, I I'm was having joking. some issues with my asthma and breathing treatments and. Went into the urgent care. And, oh, you had the migraine stuff going on too. Yeah, and then this week, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I had horrible migraines. I'm on Relpax 40 milligram, which is the highest that you can go on that dose, and you can only take two within 24 hours. And every time I felt like I got the migraine under control, it would spike back up. Um, Wednesday, I was at work, and I just thought somebody just... Whack me in the head. You got your hand up back of my head, so I was being like a puppet. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I took my migraine meds uh, while I was there, two hours apart. Didn't even touch it. Um, heart rate was at 107, just sitting For there Stacey, doing that's nothing. double. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I called Bill, and I said, I'm not coming home after work. I went right to the urgent clinic and... Um, got a shot. They the gave butt. me a shot. At, oh, my gosh. Tordal? Tordal. Um, give it to you in your butt and it stings like high heaven. Burns, However, said, huh? um, within about 15 minutes, because you have to wait 15 minutes to make sure that there's uh, no reaction um, to the medication. It's, that's the typical for what we do. And uh, so I just laid in the room with the TV off and the lights off. I got bugs. And, um, about 15 minutes. And by that point, my heart rate was down to 46. 
So it, it kicks in pretty quickly. I was very thankful. Takes and away the migraine for you. Takes away the migraine. Still had the headache, but the migraine was not as fierce as it was. I mean, I literally, I was at work and unfortunately the dry heaving and literally just try not to cry. It hurt so bad. Um, it was, it was, it, it's been, it's been rough. It's struggle. So I, last week I weighed in at 146. This week I weighed in at 147. Hmm. I'm so not happy. I don't know what my body's deciding to do. Um, I don't know. This perimenopause thing can go bye bye. I I can't make it comfortable in the house for her. If it's if it's 65 degrees, she's hot. If it's 72 degrees, she's freezing. And I don't understand what. I just let her take control of the thermostat. I have the hoodie on right now. And but she comes out for the, like 15 minutes. We have tile floor, so it's cold. So she'll come out barefoot and stand on the tile to kind of cool herself down because she's hot. But yet it's, it's 66 degrees in the house or something, and I'm covered up to my neck. But I don't feels, know. I don't know what to do. It was like, you. where's your jammies at? I'm like, it was too hot. I feel bad for you. I don't know what to do for you. I'm just try and be understanding, I guess. I it's 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 crazy because one minute I'm my normal self and I'm on the chilly side, and then the next minute, Bill, mm. I'll be sitting next to Bill, and he's like, gotcha. You're really hot. And we I was have, like, well, thank you. Yeah, He's like, not hot. that kind of <laughs> Yeah. We have one day this week where we're both off on Tuesday. And we have about a laundry list about this big of things that we need to try and get done on Tuesday. Yeah. Including some video stuff. Because we have things to review and things to talk about and do things to do. And then it's on my end to get on there and edit it up and get it ready for YouTube. So um, there's just so much going on beyond that. Been working on our sump pumps. Still when we had our basement flood a couple weeks back. What was it, about a month ago now? Yeah. month, month and a half ago. Still trying to get all that situated. I was trying to put two sump pumps into our well. And uh, it just will not fit the size of the pumps and the way that I was trying to configure it. And all the PVC fittings and specialty things that I was doing. I just, I can't get it to function properly. So I'm going back to the single sump pump. But, but we have time, alarms on them now. Yeah, this time we have an alarm in the well. So uh, when the water rises and hits that alarm, it'll send a text and send an alert and a audio alert upstairs. And so we should be able to be on it as long as we're not out of town, <laughs> you know, but, right. you know, just trying to be more proactive on it. We're still working on trying to put things all over in the basement is still a mess. So it's on my list, but it's like on the bottom part of my list because there's way more important things to be dealing with. And I'm just trying to keep a positive outlook on this whole back and this pain that I'm in and um, just try and keep moving. And just, I don't know, in the past I've fallen and two or three days later I'm doing better. And on this one, I'm not doing any better. And it's been weeks and weeks. Yeah. I mean, I'm broken. I'm really hurting. So, um, yeah. So I'm just trying to smile, but don't want to. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. And, and then it doesn't year. help that I don't see you at all. I never, literally, we're sitting here on this camera. This eight minutes that we've been on this camera is the most I've seen you today. And probably in the last four or five days. I know. Tuesday we have the Tuesday day we off. have a day off. So we're going to try and get a bunch of stuff done. And I want to see you face to face. You hear me? It's a date. Okay. He's going to take all me day. on a date. He disagreed. Hey, I'll take you to lunch. <laughs> I don't know what, but we'll yeah. go get a Jimmy John's Umwich and split it. <sighs> Something. Yeah. I don't know. We could still eat keto. This year. Got to take the bottle off. Or on June. June. 20. 24th. 25th. 25th. What about that? What about that? It's our anniversary. I know that. Okay, good job. It's on my keychain to remind <laughs> me. I don't know how many years it is, though. 27. Um, It'll be 27 years this year. When we've been together like 31. Yeah, somewhere eighty nine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I'm not good with the math. <laughs> At least thirty two years then. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Long time. Long time. Me love you. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, oh, I'm gonna make some keto meatballs this week. I'm Stacey, so excited. Stacey brought home some ground beef. I've been tinkering with our recipe. Maybe we can redo our meatball recipe because 
I've, I've really changed it quite a bit. And you seem to really like what I'm making now versus what we were making even way back, which was still really good. Yeah. But I, I just kept saying, this needs this. This needs this. So I've got it all changed. He does on, that bam, bam. Bam. Like the emerald. Bam. <laughs> bam. Yeah. No, uh, we've changed up the recipe. So um, maybe maybe we'll do a little recipe of making some meatballs. Yeah, That'd be kind of fun. You do the ingredients. Maybe we'll do that Tuesday. Long. Maybe. Tuesday. Let's do a video Tuesday. Meatballs. You can do it together? Sure. Okay. I, I, I don't mind doing it. Uh, I even wrote down what I put in it. Whoa. Which that's big is more him. than just saying, well, I have to do it because I don't measure. Normally, I don't measure, but I changed it up quite a bit. So, I had to put on paper what I was doing. Yeah. But I, I think it's even better. I think they turn out pretty darn good now. They did. Whew. And you were looking at some Diet Doctor recipes. Did you find anything that really interested you? Um, yes and no. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to guess and that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm just so frustrated with everything right now. I, I just. So many other things going on. I don't even want to eat, but I know I need to eat. And I just, I feel like I just, no matter what I do, I feel like I'm just gaining. It's frustrating. Yeah, you know, we have a lot of. What the heck my body's going to do and trying to do. and We have a lot of things going on with the kids and um, some issues for Julia. and um, Yeah, so we're just dealing with a lot of things going on. And uh, we've got some house things and some financial things to worry about and figure out. And Gosh, I never even really get to sit down and talk to you as much as I, I need to. Because we have things. Bills in Colorado and bad enough, Wyoming. I'm, and then I went to Albuquerque. and I'm sending Stacy like an email to say, hey, can you answer me on this? Because I don't see you to talk to you about things. And I don't think people really get that. But it's it's just the way the craziness works. Yes. Between the five jobs that we have going on, between your three and my two and things of that nature. And then I can't move so well, so that's not doing good. Barely getting to physical therapy and back, and that was a rough ride yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Just even driving there and back, I'm like, man, I am wiped out. So, well, hey, uh, now Stacy has to go downstairs and do her other stuff for uh, reservations. Yes. And um, we are going I to be will... busy next weekend is uh, Father's Day weekend, hmm. so people are starting to camp. It was it was busy last night. People camping and checking in and. Wanting to reserve and getting mad because there's nothing for next weekend or July 4th weekend and Sorry. yelling at me. and Not much you can do about that. Sorry. Maybe book six months ago, yeah. right? Because six months out for Michigan, right? Right. Six months so, for yeah. Michigan. So if you want to camp in six months, book it In tomorrow. the state parks, book six months in advance. It's different for every state too, right? Washington's different. Washington is nine months. Wisconsin is 11 months. So mark your calendars. Shelters are a year in advance. Cabins are a year in advance. But so people then they just get, get mad, mad when they can't book July 4th weekend yesterday. Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, those were gone five months ago. It is crazy. <laughs> Six months out, you can reserve. <laughs> so we're hoping things will get a little bit back to normal. Um, I just, No, it's... I want things to get. Calmer, because normal yeah. is crazy still. So <sighs> let's let's uh, let's try and be more. I think the stress levels don't help either. But then you no. got so many other things going on. And but I just took a temporary <sighs> supervisor position at Costco. Yay! So yeah, so that uh, went into effect, and um, so now I'll limit just one day to Camus. Um, oh, the reservations will be yeah. one day a week now. Yeah. Because so my, my schedule will that change. That's how you have Tuesday off this week? Yeah. Because normally we don't have a day off. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So it'll it'll be hopefully a little calmer and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah. And but thanks got... for taking, you know, taking the time and watching the video. And sorry, yeah. we don't have better news, but it's real life. and It is. And we did promise we would come on and let you guys know how we're doing. And I'm kind of floating in that 330 range. I'd like to see it go to the floating in the 320 range. Yeah, I'm not Or the not 310, happy. 15 range. I'll take that too. I don't know. At least I haven't gained it all back or anything. I'm just kind of, yeah. I'm kind of stuck. I feel stuck. Mm -hmm. Ooh, dang, now. I know I got to go. Oh, she's going to leave me again. Okay. Just, for, just for a few It was hours. cool. I saw you for 14 minutes. That's, that's more than I see <laughs> most days. Aww. People don't realize that, but it is true. All right, well... Everybody take care. I hope you're doing well if you're doing keto and you stick with it. And um, 
we're sticking with it pretty good. I mean, yeah. we, we got our grocery list and it's pretty basic. You know, the same simple stuff. And the kids get their junk still. Yeah. I'd like to see that change more, but we have a lot of other issues to address before we can worry about that. Exactly. <laughs> so, all right, I'll take care. Have a great weekend. If they're, well, what's well, left of the weekend by the time this gets up. And I uh, hope you have a great week. How about that? I hope you have a great rest of your week. And if you can, say a prayer for us on Tuesday that I'll actually see Stacy, and then she won't have a migraine and then she'll wake up before noon. But I got to go. Bye. And if she wakes up before noon, oh, Oh, she just knocked the tripod. I'm so sorry. And if she wakes up before noon, then maybe we can actually get something done for once. I don't know. We'll just have to see. All right. See y'all later. Bye.